Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17. Here today we're on Blake Farms. We're going to start a new map. I'm just kind of getting a look around here. I'm at one of our farm shops here. I don't know which one's which, but this is where our cows are located. We drop down. Uh, I am going to give you, uh, this first episode is going to be mainly uh, just a map tour and a little work. Uh, so, hope you all enjoy it. Um, the original outtake of it is uh, the grandpa passed away and uh, his name was Blake. Uh, I'm messing it all up. Darren, Blake, and Jean Blake. It was Grandpa and Grandma, I believe. Uh, way back in the day. Y'all know the history. Y'all can look it up. Uh, I'm not... I'm trying to remember what I read and stuff, but I'm messing it all up. Um, let's see here. This is your silage. It says uh, 1% in there, so I hope that's right. Chaff, grass, let's see. Grass is empty. Okay, so that's your uh, silage silo. Let's go in here and look around. I'm going to take that off. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff, a um, bunch of different posters. Place where you can fix your tool, your vehicles and stuff, all the tools. Uh, There's got all kind of stuff here. Uh, this is the equipment we got. We got a pallet port, a shovel here, or front loader, what you want to call it, attachment. Um, we got these two tractors. Uh, we got one at a different form. Um, we got the baler. Feels like I am in the ground. I was down, okay. Uh, oh, it's a motor horse, okay. As I say, what kind of attachments is that to the baler? But we got the baler, uh, wind roller, tether, the mixing thing, uh, slurry tanker, uh, slurry spreader, I believe, a sprayer, uh, a chaffer, I think it's a two row. Yeah, it looks like two row cha coin chaffer. Over here we got the planter, uh, two different types of planters. Per one, uh, grain, it's uh, like corn, sugar beets or something. Uh, cultivator and a plow. Uh, this is not all the equipment. Like I said, we got a water tanker here. Uh, pick them them up truck right here. Um, Let's see here. We do start with some cows. Let me get this. Uh, hang on. Let me get my hood back up here. Let me get this thing filling up here. There we go. Uh, we got 15 cows, I believe. Yes, 15 cows. Uh, health's pretty good, but look at their food and stuff. We got to feed those babies first. So, uh... We gotta come in here. We already got some straw, as you can see. Um, yeah, I got the universal package deal on. As you can see right there, hopefully, it says straw, 4,000 liters, 120 kilograms, and it's $147 to sell. So that's not bad. We got the uh, bale trailer, the animal trailer. Uh, we got some hay over here. $172 to sell. We got two tippers. It's the same here. Uh, you start out with uh, silage. Look at that. $882, folks, for one bale of silage. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it down here. Let's gonna go take a look at the... Yeah, we full. Uh, the water triggers over here. I've done been playing this for about an hour. 
just trying to get an idea where everything's at and stuff so I wouldn't like a fool when I go play. Uh, I still go like a fool, ain't I? <laughs> um, I've been doing a, a lot of thinking stuff. I'm going to drop this trailer right here. It's going around. Uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking, folks. Um, you know, we had Corn Belt. And we had, what, $6 million? I'm, I'm thinking about coming in here. and saying, hang on, we're right here at the cows. Uh, you bring everything in here and it will go in. That's their food. Uh, this is also their trash. I believe you clean up here. Um, their straw is just over this thing and just put the bell over. Or you can go through that gate that's over there. But you put your straw right there and it will take. So it's a pretty good thing. Anyway, I've been thinking that uh, I'm going to bring about $2 million over to this map. Um, give or take. Maybe uh, uh, $1 million. Here's your slurry. Um, I really don't know where your poop is right now. That door won't open. But the slurry right there. You may have to go out here to get your poop. I'm not for sure. Why I do some videos on this. But you open the gate right there and you go through. Maybe your poop pile will form somewhere out there, hopefully. But anyway, um, I thought this map would be better. Oh, yeah, we got a stove. And I need to finish chickens too. Where chickens are back here. I said chickens down. I finished the cows. Well, we got a little stove right here. You can just open it up. And, which I don't know how you open it. Sure don't give no uh, icons on how to open it. But Anyway, your chicken house back here. I want to put the chicken... Uh, stable thing up in here I figure we add that in uh, on, on the next episode we'll add that I don't got the chicken eggs sorry folks um, we gotta mix up some uh, pirate food for the cows um, but yeah I, I'm thinking about I, I don't know one million or two million because uh, we do have some debt in this map when we start out of a one hundred thousand dollar debt. So I'm thinking about bringing two million, adding a bunch of placeables. Let's see, we drop that off. But yeah, adding a bunch of placeables and stuff to this map, just like the the chicken hut deal. Um, bunch of other stuff and getting us some more tractors and stuff buying a couple of fields maybe uh, we start out with six fields that's a good thing and some of y'all probably going to ask well why are you not running season mods oh well, we can run season but uh, when we start doing the map tour I'll explain a little bit more about that Got to hook up to a silo king here. Okay. Oh, that would give me a headache. But yeah, I want to do uh, our cows real quick because they're on the verge of dying, and I don't want no animal to die on us. So, uh, whoa. Better look this way. And check out these details on this tractor. I never noticed this new Holland was this detailed. 
That's more detailed than any tractor that I got, I think, in this map. I brought all the mods over. There's a new mod out called Contractor Mod. You can get up to eight players on it. And all it does is you can add the male or female to it. And uh, then you add people's names. Uh oh, I will save. And just like I was saying before, I wish, you know, you could put, say, like, Jason in the combine and leave him in it. Well, now you can, folks. They, I know they didn't read my info off of one of my videos, but it kind of seems like it did, but only one could wish, right? But uh, what they did... They just made that something like a hired helper tool, that tool, but it's only eight players max. So a hired helper tool, you can do up to. Uh, I stabbed that second one. No idea. Oh, that's why. Got screwed over a little bit more. Grab the second and the third from that end because I thought they was all out pretty good there. But anyway, the other tool you can have up to 30, 30 names in it. And uh, this in here you can only have eight, which is pretty good, but I'm still kind of getting used to it, so y'all might see that on No Creek. I don't know. I don't know which one of these I'm going to get out first. We've got to zoom out a little bit. Need a weight on the back. Tracks are doing pretty good handling all this. But yeah, it's one strong, two haze, and one sillage. That's the way I mix it gives the perfect rations for this thing because they only hold 16,000 liters so it would be four bales alright and there's a fuel tank as you can see now it's uh when I drop this in, it should turn out to be perfect. Almost perfect. Now, hey. 50, 25, 25, so can't get too much better on that. And we have 16,000 liters of mixed rations. Now, I'm going to get rid of this box here. Uh, but yeah, I thought about bringing in at least a million I thought about two just to do our uh, placeables alright we're inside now now I'll just turn all the way around ah, yeah Betsy and Rosie's proud Betsy and Rosie's on every game I believe and it's probably going to hold every bit of this. And next thing we need is grass. But we don't have no grass right now, folks. So, Alright, we are out and we are in the green. Except for grass. I ain't going to do straw right yet. But yeah, we start out with 15 cows. So that, that's not bad. Right, I'm going to go detach this and we're going to uh, get busy on our tour. Now, none of this grass, uh, I believe all this grass here is not mowable. Um, yeah, it's got alfalfa on this map, so only grass you'll be able to mow is where uh, the alfalfa is, so. 
And once again, I think uh, you can plant grass and it will grow to be alfalfa, but I'm going to park this thing over the side. No need to put it back in the shed. But, uh, I don't know if we can hook up to this or not. I've always been curious. Yeah, see, it don't give no icon. We can set a tractor here and pretend, but we're going to start the storyline when we come back on episode two. Um, trying to think what I need. Wind roller really ain't too much of anything. So I'm going to uh, take the trailer. We also need to get the combine going because uh, we are going to do uh, back to season mods. That's what I was going to say. We are going to do season mods, but we got crops on the fields. And if we install seasons, which I already did, and I took it back out, reset, started the whole map over. Um, let's tab on around. Here's our combine. We got a corn header right there. One, two, three, four, four row corn header. Let's see here. Lift our header up. And the uh, there's another tractor and the uh, they call them a moco roller, I believe. Not for sure. But it's the more you pull back behind you, it's got the arm and everything. All right, I'm on. Uh... Oh, wrong one. Turn that off, and then our worker. And uh, we have Ice Damien. Or Damon. Ice Damon. Hope I'm saying that right. Oh, he's missing some. Oh, well, we'll have to come back and do a little bit of cleanup on it. This is wheat. This harvest. And on a map, we're at the very top. And I'll show y'all the map there. We own fields one, two, three. Four. It's kind of uh, uh, well, y'all see them right there. Uh, and then uh, five and six. Six is on the field right there. And five is this big cornfield over here. Um, this map don't go all the way to the top. And let's see here. I gotta be in a vehicle. Okay. As you can see right here, where Ice Damon is, right across this line right here. It looks like some trees right there. And right on here. This goes way on up here, but it, there's a line right here. Even with this number nine right here, this. You just take that all the way across. And then right here, the map ends with the edge of this field all the way down. Um, let's go to... Let's just tap over. Here's our other tractor. Let's go ahead and get it started. It won't take long to fly over this map. And this episode, I guess I should have said that at the beginning, probably going to be a little long. All right, there's the baler. I see we don't need the tether because we want grass. So that little be wind roller. We're going to sell it. The only reason I'm doing this, folks, I need a couple bales of grass. And, uh, yeah, need some grass, man. Gotta get that grass. <laughs> I'm just playing, folks. Just playing. But, Contractor Mod, I, I, I tried it, and it, it works, but, like, I switch back and forth like this to the tractors and stuff. It uh 
You can't do that. You will switch between those eight players. All right, that's, uh, we don't have no. Yeah, we got a Binkin. Okay. All right, good hazards. We're ready to hit the road, and from here, we're in the middle. We're going all the way down to the bottom, of the yellow dot. And hey, we have uh, Bo Rage Pitbull Gaming behind us. All right, Bo, appreciate you coming out. Now you see how I got these names? That's what I wanted the uh, contractor mods for. Oh man, what's 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 that there? Huh? We gotta stop and check out this helicopter, yeah. Wow, black and pink, uh, a little bit of green. What's green? Mr. Blue Farms. Well, how about that? My very own helicopter. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. It is mine. That's what I used to do the map tour with. Uh, we'll be riding that here in a little bit. Uh, first, we gotta go get some grass. Um, like I said, I done played it for an hour. Besides the uh, 20 minutes, I done played it. And, uh, I don't want the cows to die. So I'm gonna uh, do just enough to get a bale's worth. Maybe two. Um, I hope the recording's doing better. I've really, really worked my booty off. Uh, but the highest I can get right now is 10 frames. Not quite 10 frames per second just on this right here it drops from uh, 10 down to 6 so yes folks I know it's going to be lagging I just hope it's not that bad and uh, J Metal 797 if you're watching this buddy I want to take you up on that uh, offer of uh, the OBS settings um, which I don't think it's going to be the settings I think it's just my computer ain't, ain't that big. Alright, we're going to leave him in the middle of the road for right now. Unfold the baler. And this is bringing back some old school stuff here, folks. Turn my flashers and strobes off. Am I picking up? I'm picking up. I really don't know what I need to be in line with him because everything's going to change. So I'm going to have to just leave him there and hop in this one. Case 1455 with the uh, New Holland. Let me jump out. I can't see it. Whoa. All these bushes. This bind 313. That's what this is. Um, probably going to be uh, trading this or keeping it. We might keep it. Oh, we got an AI worker. Okay, I work ain't working too well. I really need to get a rake on this behind this thing. No, I really wouldn't be doing no rail mile hour in a ditch, folks. I wish we could cut the ditch too. That would be awesome. 
be able to mow the ditch and everything. But we might be getting a, uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to use these. I know it's going to take a lot, a lot of effort because they're so little and stuff. But maybe if I can make a few rounds, I can be able to hire a regular worker to get it mowed out and everything. All right, let's see how far that, whoa, I'm in the corn. Get out of the corn run back down here I do want to show y'all something else real quick and we'll, we'll get this bell made I'll probably go ahead and do the a tour I hate to run all the way back to shop this for one bell but this road here is not here folks I made this um, like I said um, gonna need somehow make some money off screen when we're not forming so uh, uh there's some quite a bit of trees right here that we can cut. I know we can probably cut down to some of them's in the map we can't cut. So I made this little area right here. Um, which is down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and pull over here get behind the baler park the wagon right here that's where we're going to load out I want to show y'all something here's where you uh, sell your eggs at I looked all over the map never thought this church down here I was in the GE looking to you finally found it but check this out this is the end of the map See, as far as you can go. So when I go back in here, as far as I can go, it's right here. So I'll be able to cut most. But see here, see how much further back I am? I'm way back over in here. Whoa! Oh, have mercy. What's going on here? See, I'm way out here. Now, can I get back? See, I'm, I'm hitting a wall here. I don't know, I guess they was going to, uh, heh, that's, yeah. Anyway, I, I think they was going to make this map a whole lot bigger and just, uh, decided to release with what they had. I wish I had a way of breaking that wall down so we can go a little bit further. But anyway. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave this trailer here. We're going to follow the baler. We're going to get one bale made. And then we're going to do the map tour, folks. Look, tractors take off so slow. I bet you I'll go a little bit further. And what I really want to do is come in here and plow this. But they do have this as a field. But I don't know if you can spray it. Ah, we got Donna behind us. Uh oh, first beep on the baler. Almost there, folks. Be nice to make it right here at the road. Uh oh, pick up the baler. Uh 
We're going to kind of offset it this way a little bit. Oh no, oh no, don't you do it, don't you do it. And close baler, lower pickup, turn back on. I'm going to get up here behind this guy and park. Oh man, I forgot to turn the baler on. Oh well, I'll do that off screen. Let's get this bale down to the cows so we can do a map tour. And I would uh, ask what y'all think about bringing in the money, but I'm probably going to record the next episode right after this. Uh, I'm trying to get a bunch of videos piled up because, uh, well, for one, uh, between now and August the 15th, I got to really pack up the videos because I think the kids going to go to homeschool. That's right. They're going to be right here with me during the day. Uh, school called K-12. Uh, they said that they can teach both kids. And uh, from right here, from bedroom, living room, wherever, choose the, the set up location at. And they'll send two tablets out. Well, not tablets, kind of like laptops. And, um, yeah, teach them what they need to know. I think it would be better. It'll save a lot of gas. I know they'll be losing uh, social life, but, um, they do have meetings and stuff that you can go to to socialize with as kids. Um, I don't know. I think it'd be a, a very different, a different socialism and stuff for them. I think it'd be a little bit better. Okay, I took it before I even got in. So now we are all set to do the map tour. Cows are in the green. So they should be happy. And, um, okay, no, 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 no. I got the crop description on too, folks. I just lost a couple stalks of beans there, or whatever that is. Right, I'll park this guy right here. And, um, Let's do uh, this first. Like I said, we're a hundred thousand in the hole. Besides the uh, fifteen thousand we got, um, our equipment's just about new, so we don't want to worry about too much there. Um, where it looks, Star of the West is the only selling point we got for a lot of the crops. Um, wool's 4,000, I guess that's down. Sullards, and all that there. Um, thought about, since we do have wood on this map, I uh, hopefully, oh crap, uh, we can, uh, do some honeybees. But ice statement is still for going on a little combine. Uh, folks, as you can see, we do have one, two, three. The hay field is four. And then five and six. Um, five and two is corn. Okay. Uh, three and six is wheat. And one is soybeans. And turn the grass on. Is this one? Bale four. And we'll go. Our corn is not ready yet. But our wheat is. And our grass is. And it looks like we got two little fields here that's not marked. That's also grass. And I uh, gotta check him out. 
I think that might be us, but that's where you sell your hay. There's the Kilborn Horse Farm. Kilborn. Yeah, Kilborn. Um, this shop way over here, I believe is ours. Um, because it's got a silo there. Um, fertilized seeds and a big shop. Here's our fertilized buggy way over here. Uh, you also buy fertilizer there. This is our main selling quarters right here. Animal places right there. So uh, let's go over and get to flying, folks, because we're at 35 minutes in. Like I said, this is. I just want to do those cows. This is. Uh, let's see. Start to fly. This is where I have to go back to the mouse. Let's lift up. Don't want to get too high. Let's pop our little mini map on. And as you can see, that's our field three right there. That's in yellow. And. The light green is soybeans, and that's the corn, and that's our grass. And um, on up this way, that's the kill barn over here. Oh, look, I'm spraying mud. It's the only thing I hate about this helicopter. I love it, but you get going over a field. I got a little pond right down here and see. Let me lower down right here. You got these two grass fields and, and seven right there is a big grass field too. Real big. But um even got a John Deere thing out here, folks. I hate when that does that. And you can see them a little bit better now. And John Deere tractors. Two horses down here that don't move. Um, you have to back the, the hay and stuff back inside that barn to sell it. That's the only bad thing I hate. But other than that, you know, hey, what can we expect? But I think we can mow these two fields right here. At least I hope. I think I'm down low enough where we can see you pretty better. But bring up the map a little bit bigger. You can see we're at field seven. Fixing to be an eight. Here's nine. And that's that little barn I was at. That's where I Stamen is doing the uh the uh thrashing there. And here's end of the map. That's the end of the map, folks. Look at all that area out there that's already been laid out and stuff. I just wish uh maybe they'll do an update this map and include the rest of that in it. But, uh, yeah, right there where he's at down there, all the way across here, is the edge of the map. Boy, I hope I don't go down. Let me raise up this a little. I don't want to go in those trees. But, yeah, hold on, let's try. And see? Uh, this is the end of the end of the line. I don't know. It's because I'm up in the air. But you think? I have to go down a little bit and cut across this way. And this field here, field 12. 
in order to go oh power lines Whew. so the edge of the field now is right here they don't show it but as far as we can go see hey, I'm hitting the wall right there whoa uh, crash and burn But the edge of the map goes across right here. And as you can see, there's some, uh, what is it, alfalfa? And there's the edge of the map. So we can't cut the alfalfa. The edge of the map's right down through this field here. And this coming up is our farm shop, I think. I'm going to land and we'll check it out. Hey, it's very tricky. All right. Safely landed. Ah, yes. Anyway, we have a barn here. It's kind of like a autumn oaks for a sheep barn. It's got a door back here. Got a door right here that opens. Just put stuff in there. But I wish this door here would open wider. Well, it's why is it open? And you ain't going to be able to get a very large of a combine in this thing that opening but see it looks like it's only halfway it should come all the way back to here to open I don't know why it's not so uh, same way with this door it's only halfway open but uh this is a, a big big shed folks put a lot of equipment in here and you come right here and that's where you you can do uh, customize and selling and stuff. Boy, look at all those tools. Eric. Man, leaving your tools out on the floor. There are some shelves here. I don't know if you put things on them or not. But anyway. Yeah, this is uh, over here on the west side. Go down here. Here's your fuel tank deal. I like it how they got the, the old style, but I don't know why the hose is out so far. But anyway, um, grain silo. Uh, this is uh, fertilize, and this is seeds. I may have them backwards, but y'all get the point. Um, got corn down in there. I think our uh, one million bushels is all we hold, which is kind of a lot. Uh oh, hey, you get to see what actually inside one looks like. So there's usually two or three of those. That's where the grain comes out at. It fills all the way up to the top, and it sucks out this little hole here, which has those uh, supposed to be pipes across the bottom. Pipes across the top, fills it, it goes up, goes across, drops in them. Anyway, that's later. We uh, uh, feral gas. We do have that here. Uh, there's only one little small building with a bunch of tanks out back, but we do have a feral gas in real life here in Arkansas. Uh, all right, let's uh, get this baby going, shall we? Get raised back up here. And we're going to go over to our sale points and then uh, be uh, mainly all that rope, folks. Those are just some houses down through there. Got some pretty good sized fields, some small fields, so not too bad. That left of the highway right there is the animal dealer. 
Um, down here is our fertilized seeds, stuff like that. Um, selling point for grains right underneath me. There's a blue shed right there you can drive through. Guess you can see it. I'm gonna drop down, I'm dropping down. But to the, the left you have uh, sugar beets and potatoes. I think it's potatoes. Might be sugar beets too. And uh, like I said, turn Oh, let me turn with the. Uh, that's selling point for a grain over there. Go ahead and land this thing. Boom. Boom, we do it. Boom. Um. Pioneer Big Chief Michigan Sugar, so. Those are the sugar beets. Look at all those feet. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much all it is to that. Uh, there's a selling point right here. I go on around this way. And this over here is the potatoes. Better made special. And that's your potatoes. And let's see here. I'm gonna back this away. And there's whoa, the sign for it. Woolen mill. Yeah, it's way back here. There's a cell point right there. And around here is this is the same thing. And I just blocked myself in, didn't I? Almost. Got my running shoes on, folks. Um, I'm yet to find out. I just like building, okay. You you got um, two things here. I don't know if they matter. Which one's which? Um, it just looks like maybe the building off of uh upper Mississippi River Valley but this is the ammonia anhydrous that you uh, come here to fill up put your tanks up here um, this is the uh, market shop where you get your tractors and stuff West Implement I guess I'm saying that right uh, but yeah uh, Got a spot there for uh, selling and stuff, and here's your market. Yeah, let's see, I don't think this has anything. There's our fertilized, but oh, right here's your seeds and stuff. In case you have to come up here and get them, that should be your. Yeah, that's your seeds there, and the fertilizers right here. And that's our fertilized buggy. And I'm going to run across the road, folks, and show y'all the animal dealer, and that'll be pretty much the map. Um, here's where you cows, sheep, and pigs. Yeah. And then uh, you can do solid here. Nice uh, cows, nice and stiff. Uh, sellage, I think it's where you sell your sellage from. And here's your hay and straw, sellage bales. Uh, if you look up here, I don't know how to say that one. McKinder, McKinder, livestock auction, proudly serving Michigan's thumb since 1953. Auction every Monday at 11 a.m. Uh, we buy hay, straw, and sillage. Inquire and back. Wanted farmer to help make sillage. Well, we can do that. 
Well, folks, that's going to pretty much uh, get where I can get a clear picture here of the map. Pretty good. much going to sum up the map. Um, oh, I got to be inside of a vehicle. But anyway, right down here is that house. You can sell your eggs. It's not really marked on the map. But other than that, that's about it. Um, so, yeah. Uh-oh. I stayed in full up there. We're going to have to go unload them. But other than that, folks, that's going to be this episode. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And um, if y'all need to know anything else, just leave it down below in the comments. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to take a, a 15, 20 minute break and record episode two, three, four, or five, and just get them stocked up. I hope this one ran smoothly. I'm only getting 10 frames per second. CPU's running low. I just hope it wasn't too laggy. It don't look too laggy, just uh, like a jumpy. Like it'll kind of just jump instead of scrolling smoothly. Well, that's our equipment. So when we come back, it'll probably be an equipment video. Um, the tether wind, uh, wind roller deal here is going to go for sure. We'll probably keep these two. Uh, all of this here we'll probably keep just get rid of those two there and get some larger ones and I know these two planters here are going to go might not get two bigger ones but I know they're going to go and um, might get another tractor so I'm thinking about just bringing in two million pay the long haul get some animals and stuff to take care of and uh Try to keep some because I know we're going to need some money. Especially if we go seasons. Uh, seasons will be installed. Uh, but it will be when we get all the crops off. So we got six fields. Well, five and a half now. Um, so uh, I will reinstall seasons when we get everything off all the grain off and stuff and uh, go from there folks so yeah I done said it once I'm going to say again this is concluding the, the episode eggs and backpack 8 workers currently hired 1 eggs and coop 1 alright we want to save this game and folks I hope y'all have a great day a blessed day and uh be sure and share me with your friends. Uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, or red button I call it. And if you're a returning family member, um, just uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it, folks. I love each and every one of y'all. And yeah, y'all have a great day, a best day, and I will see y'all later. Bye.